This is a trainer board for different types of flip flops. JK flip flop, T flip flop, D flip flop, and SR flip flop practicals can be performed on this board. We will concentrate mainly on D type flip flop. So this section is related to D type flip flop. This is IC seven four seven four, which is dual positive edge triggered D flip flop. A single IC has two D type of flip flops inside it, and they are positive triggered. There are different pins of this flip flop. One is D pin through which we can apply the input. So let us connect the input pin to one of the input switches. So when I connect it to this switch and when I turn on this switch, logic one is applied to input. When I turn off this switch, then logic zero is applied to the D input. Same is the case with remaining inputs. The clock signal is here, and a facility of manual clock is provided through this IC here. By pressing this manu switch, I can manually send the clock signal to the clock pin of D flip. S and R these pins correspond to preset and clear operation. So let us connect. Preset pin to one of the inputs. Similarly, clear pin of IC seven four seven four is connected to another input. Complementary outputs are available here. Q is in true form. Q bar is in complemented form. So output Q is connected to one of the LEDs of Output section. Similarly, complemented output Q bar is connected to another LED of output section. So we are done with the connections. I will turn on the power of the trainer kit. This shows the function table of IC seven four seven four, which I have used as a D type flip flop. This switch correspond to D input of a flip flop, and these two switches correspond to preset as well as clear input of flip flop. We will verify each of this row in a function table of D flip flop. In first row, preset pin is kept zero, so preset is already zero. Clear is made one. Clear is made one. Now we can observe the output. That Q has become one. So Q is one, and Q bar has become zero. It means that by applying a preset signal, I have stored one in D flip flop. So that is the role of preset pin. Now, whatever the input that I apply through this input pin, or whatever the status that I give to the clock input, this status is not going to change because preset and clear pins are come have higher priority. So clock. And input have no effect on the output when preset or clear pins are active. That's why this clock signal is say, uh, shown as don't care and D as shown as don't care. Now let us move to the next row where preset pin is made one and clear pin is applied with zero. It means that I want to clear the flip flop or I want to store zero in the flip flop. So make preset as one. Make clear as zero, and now you can observe that this non-inverting output has become zero because that LED has turned off. So Q is zero, and Q bar is one. So now the flip-flop it is in clear state. Let us move to the third possible combination when preset as well as clear both are made zero. So preset is zero. Clear is already zero. Observe the output. The output is inverting as well as non-inverting output. Both are one. So which is shown here. And generally we don't use this condition. So whatever is the status of clock or whatever is the status of applied input, output is not going to change. So first three rows shows that how preset and clear affects the output of the D flip flop. The next two rows 
where we are going to concentrate, we want to have the output change according to the applied input with the help of a clock. For that purpose, I should make preset as one and clear also as one. In other words, I can say that I neither want to preset the flip-flop nor I want to clear the flip-flop. I want that output should change according to the applied D input with the help of a clock. Let us go through this condition where preset is one, clear is one and a positive clock is to be applied where input D is zero. One more thing I would like to take, uh, tell you that by default clock is high. When I press it, clock is low. And when I release the clock, that moment the clock grows, grows, uh, goes from low state to high state. That is, it gives positive edge triggering to this deep flip flop. And at that moment, input gets reflected into output. So input is zero because this switch is in downward condition. So when I release the clock signal, output should remain zero. So you can observe that the output is zero. So whatever is the input, you get the same output at the output of deep flip flop at positive going edge of the clock signal. Let us verify this condition. Preset is one, clear is one and here the applied input is one. So I will apply D as one. So logic one is applied to D input. Now you can see that there is no change in the output. What is expected here? Output should become one. Non-inverting output should become one and inverting became zero. But there is no change because I have not given a clock, positive going clock. Once I release this switch of clock, a positive clock is given and output becomes one. In this way, whatever is the data that you apply at input that gets reflected at the output at the positive edge of the clock.